All week we've been showing you the impact of deer ticks and the diseases they carry. For patients who have persistent Lyme, healing can be challenging and painful. Patients often feel misunderstood or even invisible because they may look fine on the outside but are dealing with the aftermath of symptoms on the inside. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee introduces us to a professional photographer who's capturing the realities of living with tick-borne infections with a focus on the human toll on herself and others. Professional photographer Jia Tong Wu was diagnosed with neurological Lyme disease and other tick-borne co-infections about two years ago. After a difficult journey to healing, she began taking photographs of other patients all over the country to give them a voice after they felt their suffering had been invisible to the rest of the world. Uh, yeah, you're right. Thank For Jia Tong Lu, her nightmare I, I with Lyme started in 2021. I never felt any, you know, tick bite or rash. But all of a sudden, I just got some symptoms like, you know, I have very bad headache, fatigue. She also had a stiff neck, joint pain and depression and couldn't function normally. Despite a negative test for Lyme, her doctor prescribed the standard treatment, a single dose of doxycycline to reduce the risk of the disease. She started feeling better, but a few months later, her symptoms came back with a vengeance. Lou, who lives in Hudson Valley, New York, had to put her fine art photography business on hold. I couldn't walk. I couldn't sleep. I have very bad stiff neck. I even couldn't lie down. She also suffered from light sensitivity and neurological issues. Lou's symptoms started improving, though, after seeing a doctor who focuses on treating Lyme disease. During this time, Lou also found support online from other patients suffering from what the U.S. CDC calls post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome, also known as chronic Lyme. It's when symptoms of pain, fatigue, or difficulty thinking lasts for more than six months after a patient finishes treatment. She wanted to tackle the stigma of chronic Lyme through her own unique lens. Last year, she launched a photography project, Nowhere Land. Through her website and Instagram, Nowhere Land displays images of Lyme patients who feel they're not being taken seriously by doctors when they test negative for Lyme and are told their symptoms are all in their head. Some of the people, they just feel they're hiding too long. It's time to speak out. Her first subject was her neighbor, who suffers from vision issues from tick-related illness. Lou incorporated her friend's art into the photo. She has very bad live vision, so that's her floaters when she has very bad vision. From a frail 26-year-old woman who needs daily IV treatments to a young college graduate who was diagnosed in 2020 with Lyme and five other tick-borne related illnesses and who is still struggling with symptoms. There are also photos and images of doctor's bills, medical notes, and patients' personal stories visualizing the difficult path to healing for patients who feel they don't exist. Lou, who still has her good and bad days, hopes to turn the project into a traveling exhibit and a photo book available to the public. I really hope people who have this disease, chronic only a chronic Lyme disease can be seen, can be heard, can be understood. Now Lou hopes to connect with other chronic Lyme disease survivors here in Maine and get them to be part of her Nowhere Land project. We'll have much more information about Lou's photography project as well as ticks and the diseases they carry on our News Center Maine website and mobile app. For Tick Week, Vivian Lee, News Center Maine. And join us tomorrow when we wrap up Tick Week. It yeah, will introduce you to some student warriors now learning how to protect themselves against ticks.